hello guys welcome back to my channel this is vlogmas day six yay we're making progress we're making progress <laughs> so yeah today is friday the 6th of december and i just want to go to market now i want to get some things for my kitchen i'm supposed to do a kitchen makeover i suppose i've done it like months ago but a lot of things keep coming up and i keep putting it for later for later so i just want to get some things for my kitchen and probably do the makeover this weekend or something i'm not sure i don't even think i can do it this weekend but i'll try anyway so yeah i'll try and take you guys along but if i don't when i come back i'll show you guys what i bought so yeah the hold up in portacourt now is crazy like portacourt is not like lagos like why why is it because i was yapping lagos now nah, portacourt is like lagos the governor whoever is in charge is repairing roads at the same time so many roads at the same time building 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 flyovers you know at the same time so the few roads that they're not working on are packed and are blocked like the hold up there is usually very bad so anywhere my car can take me to if i just see hold up i'm turning back like it's not by force it's not by force <laughs> I'll, I'll turn back all right so yeah if you'd like to see what i'm up to today just keep on watching what I'm looking for I also need non-stick cutlery I don't know if I'll find any here or should I just buy wood this egg slicer is something that you don't think you need but you actually do 2000 something what what the hell 2000 something that's way too much man so it takes to make cutlery that was nice so guys currently my kitchen looks a mess things are all over the place and a lot of things don't have a proper place yet simply because i just lost hope at some point <laughs> For this kitchen but yeah i was trying to work on it and just get it to a better place it's not the way i want it to, it's not going to be the way i totally want it to be because personally i prefer neutral colors in the kitchen neutral colors like nude browns um white and stuff like that i need i'm not really a fan of black and red or is this burnt orange and red and all that i'm not really a fan of it but i'm just going to make the best of it while it's this way until we're ready to change up the whole kitchen so yeah um this is what the kitchen currently looks like things are just all over the place like what the hell <gasps> things are all over the place even the lighting here is terrible i have to bring my ring lights to make this video so all that is going to be sorted out this week then we have the um, kitchen sink leaking somewhere all that is going to be sorted out before we start to arrange so first of all i'm going to clear everything from this kitchen um my marriage is going to help me my husband is going to come in at some point we're going to clear everything in this kitchen take them outside and then start cleaning Eva wore her Christmas shoe to come and mop. Eva, what are you doing? Eh? You are cleaning. You are cleaning very well, okay?
I just did the worst paint job in the history of paint jobs. But I really don't care, Sha. This is okay like this for now. I was wondering if I'm going to see this place, but I just needed something to cover that dirty wall that was there before. Somebody should ask me why I decided to wear a gown for this. Anyway, let's continue. So right now, I have to scrub the kitchen floor. Um, my mind's supposed to help me, but the kids are around, so she has to stay with the kids. And um, I sent her to go and get food for us now. So, because I can't cook anything, I can't, I can't even think of cooking anything right now. So yeah, you guys, now don't see I'm now. <laughs> A little break went to eat but now the kitchen is very clean and empty that's why it's echoing this way so the next order of the day is this contact paper I got it from a lovely lady on Instagram her name is name of her company is quirk station I'm going to leave all her details in the description box and yeah so she sells contact paper she sells stuff for arts and crafts so if you are into arts and crafts her page is really interesting so you guys should just go and check her out if you need contact paper she has different designs different colors and yeah so i decided to go for this color to see if it can brighten my kitchen a bit like i've said i really don't like the colors of this kitchen the black and the red is just it's just too much it's doing too much for me um and then the marble top the um uh, this marble of granite whatever this top here I think it's granite because it's anyway this top here too is also dark like the people who lived in this house before their taste is really i don't know what to call their taste but their taste was really in fact i was the one that changed the wallpaper here the wallpaper they had here where all this brick brick design kind of wallpaper it was a lot yeah so initially when i got this wallpaper i wanted to use it to cover up the doors of the cabinet because i really don't like the color and the Cabinets on this side of the house are pure red. These ones are pure red, while the other ones are burnt orange. So, anyway, moving on. <laughs> so, yeah, I wanted to discover the doors before, but I decided to use it for the countertops simply because it's marble. I don't really like marble design on door on doors. It doesn't really make logical sense to use marble like are there marble doors i don't think so so yeah it doesn't really make logical sense so i decided to use it for the counter top so let's get to pasting we are done with well we're almost done with the um contact paper it's looking good mommy 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 still working on okay so we're currently just trying to put things back into um where they're supposed to be um <laughs> this is everything that we need to arrange back like like a lot of things but as many things i'm going to throw away here or give out i'm just going to sort these things out so that i don't have junk or uh, unnecessary load in this house so we have 
a new gas cooker which we are going to be putting here shortly. Bring the wood. Thank you. <laughs> so I went to Abad to sew curtains and I told the guy to sew normal loops. I went and sewed this thing and added this ugly purple material. I don't even know who sent it. I'm to, to use plain. He added purple material to it. Anyway, doesn't look too bad, Chan. <laughs> My gas cooker! <laughs> yo, 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 yo! Okay. So guys, it is currently almost 10 p.m. and I've been at it since morning, like since literally past six, we've been at this walk. Um, I'm gonna taking the kids, they've all gone to bed. It's just remaining me um, and Amarachi. Amarachi might actually soon go to bed because she wakes up earlier than most of us. But I wanted to go and sleep and just leave it till tomorrow. But the truth is, if I don't finish this thing this night, I will not sleep well. I'm going to dream about it. The place are going to be chasing me around at night in my dream so let me try and sort here out let me just show you guys what we are currently trying to sort out you can see the whole kitchen is just full of stuff everywhere i'm trying to declutter as much as possible like i want to declutter as much as possible i want to throw away things massively i don't want to enter the new year with with loads okay new year new me loading so a lot is leaving this kitchen today i'm just going to dash some out throw some away everything should just i just need i need i need peace of mind okay i need i need clarity in this kitchen so yeah i thought i might now to just go and bring my laptop so that i can be watching something while doing the work i need to have my bath and come back but if i have my bath i'm going to sleep that's just the truth so yeah let me just do this this night and get it over with and i'll see you guys tomorrow okay guys so this is the final look i really love how this kitchen turned out um, it's not where i want it to be yet i'm thinking of changing the color of the cabinet soon but for now it looks a hundred times better than it looks before it's cleaner it's neater and it's just the way i like it so let me show you guys different areas in the kitchen okay so first up is this door i bought this hanger from one of the stores I always use to hang the kitchen towels. I really like how it looks. I like the colors of the towels. It actually looks very festive and Christmassy. So moving on to this area, this is the contact paper that we put on all the slabs. It looks, it makes the kitchen look way different. Like the kitchen is now brighter, a lot brighter than it, it was before. Um, yeah, I know they build houses in Nigeria. I don't know why they don't like allowing a lot of sunlight into, into spaces. But these countertops now look very bright, so it helps the kitchen to become brighter and it's neater and if there's anything on it, you'll be able to see it on like the one that was there before that was very dark and might have stain on it and you will not see it. But this one, you will most definitely be able to see it and clean it. So next thing I did was to arrange the cupboard. These are the cereal boxes that I bought. So I put their cereal, milk and sugar. Um, I'm not in a hurry to fill up my cupboards or my spaces simply because I like minimalist living. I like my spaces being very minimalistic. So just because I have cupboards doesn't mean I have to fill them up. I just need them to have things that I, I absolutely need. Anything I don't need, I throw it away. Like yesterday, I did a lot of decluttering. I threw a lot of things away yesterday because I just need that space. I don't need clutter. So moving on to this gas cooker this is the new gas cooker we bought this is the scan frost uh i don't know the name or model of this but i know it's scan frost and it's five burner no electric burner which i really like because for me electric burners are kind of useless in nigeria where power is not 24 7. so yeah and it's really expensive to actually use electric burner center burner is actually very big to cook a really big pot that's why i love this gas cooker um, the oven lights up from the top and bottom, so 
I absolutely love it. So moving on to this area. In this cupboard, we have all our children's stuff. So all their plates for school, their water bottles, everything is in here. And I arranged it like this so that I'll see what they have. Anything that, because I noticed that we have a lot of water bottles and plates that they really don't use. So anything that does not have a space here, does not need to be here. And if I buy something new, I'll have to take out something from here so that it will have a space. Because I really don't want to clutter. This is empty. This, I have my matches and stuff and this kettle. That's all that is inside here. Yeah, I have my microwave, toaster and electric kettles and that's it. So, okay, so this plant, this is aloe vera plants. I just decided to put, because I wanted the kitchen to have a little bit of freshness. That is why I planted aloe vera in this flower pot. I've had this flower pot for years and I finally put them to good use. Anyway, so moving on to the sink area. Um, I absolutely love this cotton, the fabric. I want to choose this cotton. I wanted something that will still allow air and light to come into the kitchen because I really don't like dark space and my kitchen was really too dark. So that's why I chose this. The person who sold it did not sew it well, but yeah, it's not too bad. I actually like the way it is. Then I also got this from the store where I got the kit cover hangers. I got this um, storage, like a plate storage basket or something because if you know anything about pot you know that we have a black suit problem so there's always a lot of black suits in pot suits basically in pot i don't know the illegal bunkery whatever burning of stuff that they're doing in pot but it's really really bad so most times all our plates after washing them i have to rinse them before i use them plates spoons everything we use, basically everything we use in this house i have to rinse them before I use them. So this is actually a very good idea. So anytime we wash plates, we we'll just put them here and keep them covered. And even if we we'll still rinse it, at least we are sure that it stayed clean rather than leaving it open for the glass to settle on it. Here I have my blenders and grinders and everything here. Then up here I have containers these are salad bowls this greater moi moi plates so i arrange it like this again the way why i arrange things like this is i want to see everything i own at all so these are all the moi moi plates i own i want to see everything i own at all so i don't want anything to be hidden behind anything i want to be sure that all i have is all i need so in here i have all my glasses glass cups glass bowls um this is a salad bowl or is it a punch bowl anyway everything glass is in here um, these ones are for uh, pepper soup or dips or whatever and moving on to this area so down here down here I really don't have much here and I, I'm leaving it that way I really don't need to have much there almost all these drawers are empty the only ones that have things in them are these ones so here we have all our spoons everything cutlery is here and my measuring cup and measuring spoon but everything cutlery, whisk and everything is here um, here we have all our plastic bowls um, I had to throw a lot away like I don't know how over time we accumulated so many bowls I threw a lot away anyone that is not enough here uh, we have to make do whatever we have like I don't want to get more the only reason why I will get more is to throw away some of them that are here that's the only reason why I will get more so yeah everything is empty aside this part so I have my pots here Okay, so finally here we have some more groceries. I have the children's juice, Ribena, a um, carton of Indomie, carton of milk. So here is where we put mostly cartons and leftover stuff that we have because we usually buy things in bulk. So we'll just keep most of them here and yeah, even as we buy things in bulk, I try not to overbuy something so that I'll still have space in the house. So yeah, that's it for my kitchen tour. I hope you guys like this video. Um, like I said, it's really not where I want it to be, but this is a long way from where it used to be, and I really like how everything turned out.
please contact Quest Station on Instagram. Um, I'll leave a link to her Instagram profile below so you guys should check her out and make your purchases if you want. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.